Hey, Owen and Smokestack fans, Johnny C here in New Jersey. Uh, we're continuing our uh, generator room build, and uh, we're up to the point where we need to figure out what we're going to do for my exhaust for my DJC. It's a diesel set, generates a lot of heat. Uh, one of them is to use a thimble. I purchased a thimble over the uh, internet. Nice thimble. But, however, it's really for a low temperature telestove. So I need to make some modifications using some materials such as cement backer board, things like that. And uh, overall test it. So uh, this is my test tool right here. I call it my flamethrower. You'll see what it'll do in a second. And I think that this will probably generate more heat than the DJC. So here's my flamethrower. What do you think? It is. Wow! Look at that, the trailer wood's on fire. Burn the wood. Holy cow, kill the torch, man, before you burn down my trailer. <laughs> wow! Holy cow! It was hot. I mean, I get, my hands are hot from it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I don't, I don't know if the camera's showing the smoke or not, but that is something. You can smell it even. Yeah, wow. Yep. Okay, so anyway, if we use this for the thimble, okay, to insulate the wood using this, I mean, there's still going to be heat transfer. But man, look at that, look at that. Now, if that was the uh, the structure of a house or the, or the generator shed that we're gonna use this for, um, we would have a problem here. Now, our infrared uh, thermometer, temperature sensor, whatever, uh, won't go up that high to, to, to yeah. see how hot this thing got, but you know it's got hot. So my what, my what, hands were burning, my skin was Chris, hot. Let, let's show, show them what we got here. Yeah, so we're using this uh, flamethrower right here with propane. And from this distance, my hand was getting hot. Right? I oh, out. I felt, oh, I felt, I felt that when heat. When that was starting to burn, I had to pull. I was getting ready where I was have to, have to pull away. Now this is cool down here. Okay, okay. So now I'm starting to feel some heat over here. But it obviously got hot enough to to start torching this. Up. But you know something, you were directing. You were directing the, flame the heat. Was going that way. Maybe we should yeah, try it that way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Try it again? Let's, yeah, let's do that. Okay, well, yeah. Because I wonder if the flame was. Yeah, that's what I think it was doing. Right, so I'll do it direct the All right, just to show, just to show our audience here on the smokestack, what angle were you doing? I was going this way. Right. I'm going to stand more here to go this way. All right, all right, get that thing going, man. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I feel that heat is Keep going. Oh, it's 
five feet away. I was five feet away, and I felt that heat big time over here. All right, keep going. I'm gonna touch this over here. No problem. Look, 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 look. Nothing, nothing. Nothing over here. Keep going, keep going. Are you burning up? Woo! Damn! Not heat. I can't hold it anymore. Yeah. Okay, shut it down, shut it down. All right, so here's what we got. The reason why the trail, okay, so here, here's the thing. The reason why the trailer started burning, this torch right here was putting out so much heat and we're directing it like this initially, it started that on fire. On the second go around, by the way, I feel so much heat bouncing back at me, it's unbelievable. On the second go around, I was on the back, by the way, there's no discoloration on the back of this half inch uh, hardy board. I'm holding this right here, okay? This is probably about 100 degrees or less right now. This is where uh, the, the part down on the trailer, the, the wood was burning. This is actually a very good insulator right here, half inch hardy board. Unbelievable, wow. Now, I don't think uh, the, the, the generator exhaust is going to get hotter than no, that. because my hands are, I couldn't hold it anymore because my hands were too hot. Yeah, when I was... The, the heat bouncing back was listen, too much. Listen, when I was walking around, when you're shooting the, the flame this way, the last go around, when I was here, it's hard to tell by the camera, but I'm a good four feet away, I couldn't even stand here because yeah. it was just reflecting and off. I'm, what's this, about two and a half, three feet probably, and I couldn't hold my hands on Right, exactly. And the back of the hardy board, unfazed. This right here is just abrasion from uh, uh, transportation. But uh, this ain't gonna burn. This hardy board's not gonna burn. So, using this uh, thimble right here for the uh, generator exhaust, okay, we're gonna have, of course, our wall over here, okay? Uh, you know, this is gonna go through the wall, and I'm actually gonna have some hardy board here, hardy board there, so there's gonna be no metal whatsoever on anything that's gonna be combustionable on the, uh, on the wall, such as the T111, okay, the siding. And we'll have some rock wool. We already tested rock wool. Uh, that don't burn either. Okay, so I don't know. So the only marking is this right here, but that's from the torch. And again, this thing puts out a lot. I mean, it's unbelievable. Right now, if that, that was lit and you did that next to somebody, they'd be torched pretty good. All right, what do you think, Chris? You think this is going to work out? I think you're good. All right, okay. Well, that's a wrap on this one right here. Once again, this is going to be part of our generator room. Uh, sooner or later, we're going to put a hole in the wall. We're going to have our exhaust for our DJC to go through it uh, with a pipe. This is all rock wool over here. We're going to put the thimble somewhere in here. I'm just going to have to box this out. Okay, once again, I do not want any wood in contact with any metal. It's either going to be rock wool or hardy backer board. Okay, that, that what you saw outside was half inch. That ain't going to burn. No way. I mean, I think anything hotter than that would probably be uh, an oxyacetylene torch. Maybe map gas, but still, that, that torch put out a lot. So what do you think? What can we light on fire now? Uh, I'll play with the torch. We, I got some gas over here. Want to play with the gasoline? Nah, that's not cause an explosion. Okay, how about some uh, kerosene instead? All right, so anyway, that's about it. I think we are in the, going in the right direction with this uh, exhaust symbol. Once again, on the uh, smokestack uh, forum and the thread uh, for my generator room, there's a lot of discussion on what to use, what's appropriate, what's not appropriate as far as uh, a thimble for the exhaust to go through uh, the wall. So that's about it for right now. And I still feel that heat. The heat, you can still see the ripples, you know, the heat ripples. Yeah, it's unbelievable. All right, that's a wrap. Johnny C. from New Jersey. Take it easy.